Greetings. This video is what's potentially a Tesla mule, a case in which the Tesla drivetrain and battery pack have been installed inside of a Cascadia, which is a Mercedes brand, uh, for testing purposes. I believe that this uh, truck total weighs the 80,000 pounds, and uh, it's definitely worth the video. Tesla Mule, a case in which the Tesla drivetrain and battery pack have been installed inside of a Cascadia, which is a Mercedes brand, uh, for testing purposes. I believe that this uh, truck total weighs the 80,000 pounds, and uh, it's definitely worth the video. This is Greg for Tesla Fan Insight. I wanted to review today the fact that some new video has popped up in terms of what's going on with the semi truck. The video you're about to see is of a truck, initially a photo, and then the truck taking off. A few points to notice are number one, notice the takeoff. Uh, of what looks like a fully loaded 80,000 pound truck. Number two, the battery pack is being hidden behind. Number three, there's no smoke coming out as the truck takes off, so it's clear that it's an electric truck. Uh, number four, Cascadia is the body style chosen. The current head of Tesla's uh, trucking unit came from uh, the Cascade, was running the Cascadia division of Freightliner, which is a branch of Mercedes Benz. The fourth thing to note is that um, based on license plates and, and sort of sun, et cetera, it seems that this is a California location. Uh, I guess a fifth item would be the fact that one of the biggest polluters that uh, everyone is after right now is the fact that there's a huge amount of freight that comes into Los Angeles, California, and one of the goals is to find ways to reduce the pollution caused by that freight as it's moved from the docks out to the storage facilities in, in, in the Inland Empire of Los Angeles, California. The, uh, I kind of am intrigued because I thought that the, there was no chance, it looked like, that Mercedes and Tesla were going to stay together as the semi-product was delivered. But this mule suggests that uh, it's not going to be the case, but it's a possibility. Uh, obviously, they could have chosen a lot of other sort of shells to put uh, this in, but they did choose um, a, a Cascadia slash Mercedes product. Another element of this is the fact that, in theory, this could be one of the other manufacturers like Cummins or uh, others that are testing right now, but uh, the likelihood of that is kind of low, uh, given that you know, Tesla or Cummins only has one location going, and um, if it were Mercedes per se, they actually have their test trucks operating in Stuttgart in different conditions to get a full sense of what it can do. Um, I, I may add some more in the notes uh, of other observations, but this also answers the question of how Tesla might be testing it in customers' hands without it having drawn a lot of attention and interest um, as a new product on the roadway. Uh, this this kind of answers that question. Uh, enjoy and uh, look forward to any comments you have. This is Greg for Tesla Fan.